his beats and howl in vain Just taking the things not worth having But don't you worry about a thing So let's continue back I'm sorry, I'm really blushing because I'm not saying that Alright, so um, let's talk about Aegyo Disclaimer, I believe Aegyo is a serious disease that's infecting the minds of many Korean men and women in this country must be eradicated. The first step to eradicating this is becoming mature about relationships. And it Do you like Aegeo? Not a big fan of it. Do you like it just a little? I mean, <laughs> I mean, I guess when you're in a relationship, you act cute to your spouse. But do you think it's childish? Though? The way a lot of Koreans do it, I can't help but think. I just, I think just they overdo it. Sometimes. Yeah. Okay, there was this one time I tried to get a discount. Like, actually, this one time, <laughs> multiple times. I was like, let me bust out my Aegeo right now. The guy, seriously, he just looked at me and was like, no. But I tried to get a discount on a bracelet. That happened at the fish market, too. Discount. Chang. Chang. It was probably wasn't even the right type of Aegeo. And he was like, $15. I was like, dad, you can't wait a bracelet. They don't really care for foreigners, do you? I have seen foreign girls do it. Okay, my friend, she's Korean, she told me that if you're a foreigner and you speak Korean and you don't speak Korean like correctly, like you make little mistakes or whatever, Korean guys find that really attractive and it in itself is a type of thing. Which, is that true? Do you think that's true? I've gotten that from Korean girls who must be Korean. Oh, really? Yeah, when I make little mistakes. Yeah. They're like, oh, so cute. Yeah, they, they say. But it is cute though. It, it is kind of cute. I think even too when Korean guys like talk to me and they make little teeny mistakes. It's kind of yeah. cute. It's cute. It's really cute. But for me, I can't be running around doing no eggy. I'm too old for that. Okay? I don't I'm too old. Stupid. I wouldn't even do it for a bracelet. I wouldn't do it for a bracelet. Yeah, right? Like, I can't even do that for no Tiffany. Alright. Okay, hey. Bye. 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 <laughs> it's hard for you. Yeah. Imagine us. I mean, we don't even speak Korean. I mean, like our, making friends. My friends are my coworkers because I feel like most Korean people, if they want to be your friend, it's either sort of like a language exchange. Like, I'll be your friend, and you're gonna teach me English, and I'll teach you Korean. Are you, are you talking about like making friends? Making friends. Uh, Native Korean people are, are uh, I mean, a bit difficult. No, for, for me it's, it's easier. So. <laughs> but you're not really Korean Korean. Yeah, I mean like, I mean, I, I get approached by guys to like hang out and stuff. I just don't respect From the Korean guys? As much. Because do you find that you just don't have as much in common? I, I can't really relate to them as much. And when they go out, it's not in the same Ways. Yeah. I mean, what do they do? When they, go out? they go out and like drink soju, get some barbecue meat, and, uh, and, then we'll and do the like duck dance. Duck dance. What's the duck dance? What? what? You don't know what it is? This is when you go to the club, you always see the heads oh, moving like this, and the shoulders are. I can't even do it. Oh. Oh, yeah. I, I thought it was a chicken dance or something. That's a dance. Something. What's the dance in Korean? Yeah, I think it's like, yeah. That's what they call it? I don't know. I don't <laughs> know. It's like a chicken nail. It's, like, it's weird, but... Well, you can imagine how difficult it must be for us to make friends because we don't speak Korean. And like you said, it's either someone who wants to do some kind of language exchange or... Or, like, I've met Korean girls that like, I really liked them and I was really down and really want to hang out with them. And they'll ask you to introduce them to foreign guys. Well, I've that didn't that happen, but they're on the map and then suddenly... They disappear. They disappear. Korean, and you don't hear from them. Korean people are the most, I'm sorry, Korean, flakiest people that I've ever met. Extremely flaky. That's, that's why I don't really go for Korean girls. <laughs> but Korean is the first Korean guy that I've heard. I'm not saying all of them, but they're like, you know what, I want a foreign girl that's going to be like more down to her. Hey, somebody need to make a hip hop song called I Want a Foreign Girl. <laughs> I want a don't they already have music videos where like it's all just a bunch of white girls? I mean we can talk oh, about we can talk about yeah. Big Bang and their video. Okay, let's get to K pop. Don't now. even so, hey, we got like five minutes left. Let's wrap this let's up. Let's wrap this up. So K pop. 
You don't listen to K-pop. I don't listen to I don't listen to K-pop. I listen to K-pop. Some. And for me, I mean, I like K-pop. The problems that I have with K-pop are probably... Well, you already did. One of the, the main problems I have with K-pop is that uh, I feel like they bite off of a lot of American hip hop. American hip hop, they don't give credit where I feel credit is due. They don't really acknowledge all of their fan base equally. Now we can, let's look at Big Bang. Like, I love me some Big Bang. But how are you going to shoot Bad Boy? Wasn't that a best guy? I heard it was a best guy. How are you going to shoot that in New York and you got only white models? Soviet Union looking models. <laughs> 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 There was like no black people roaming around. I'm sorry. There was no black people roaming around in New York. Not even that many Koreans. There's a Korean town. They ain't got no Koreans in there either. <laughs> there ain't even no like, people on the corner. Like, no Latinos. No Latinos. No Latinos. In New York? That's like going to Africa making a video about Africa with no dang Africans. Robert Mugabe and the white Africans. <laughs> so, so like that kind of stuff really, really gets under my skin. And then you'll hear a song and you'll be listening to that song. Can we talk like, about Young Gook too? Young Gook? I don't know who he is. He's that guy who made a comment about um I mean I know who he, he is, is, but I he was being interviewed by a black woman and she asked him what's your ideal type and he's like, Can I say you? Like, you're my ideal type. And then the comments from Korean girls saying he loves he likes those kind of girls. What's wrong with him? He's mentally sick. That girl's a whore, that's why she likes her. She what? dresses like a whore. Korean girls be through a mad shade. They be throwing shade. 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 Bam, 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 bam. You probably getting shade right now, bum yeah. I get it anyway from people. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. Oh, last night. Last night. Just be racist. Oh, really? Like, I get. I go out to these, like, foreign hangouts. And the Korean girls go there specifically to get. I think it's white guys in general. Yeah. And like they see that I'm Asian, they're like, you're Korean, right? Like, and it's like, that's it. I'm like, do they ever ask you why do you have so many foreign friends? Because your whole crew is foreign. Not all of them. But uh, part, majority you, of your crew is like a German, a Russian, <laughs> Italian, a Polish, a black, a Samoa, Canadian, a girl from San Diego. Hey! Well, you know, you roll a whole crew. You United Nations up in this like United yeah, I like I like to be diverse. Is there anything that you'd like to add? Because you have been talking not as much as the two of us. Yeah. How do you feel about YouTube? I watch it all the time. How do you feel about yourself on YouTube? Will you do more videos? Yeah, sure. I don't feel as comfortable being on camera as you guys. Yeah, but you know, doesn't it feel like you're not even on camera? No, not really. Yeah. See, this is like right here. And now, if we had some soju, not soju, soju's terrible. Yeah. Soju Vod put hair on your chest. Vodka. Vodka? I wouldn't know. Sans too. If you have a bottle of soju, I'm next morning you wake up with a mustache. Like, how <laughs> I get that? <laughs> Anyway, so, um, I think that's pretty much all I have to say, like, I, you know, to end it on, like, trying to end it on a positive note, if you're coming to Korea and you want to make friends, you know, Korean friends, I think that's a good thing. You come to Korea and at least have two or three Korean friends. What's the point of coming to Korea? I hate when I see foreigners There's in Korea many foreigners just with foreigners. hang out with foreigners. And I think that's doing yourself a disservice and it's not really embracing the culture. Like, what are you here for? So, hang out with people from your own country, you can do that at home. So, I mean, I think, yeah, you have to network, you have to put yourself out there. Goodbye. All right, thanks for joining us, Bamian. No thanks for... It was a pleasure. <laughs> I hope you guys can, can hear Bamian. <laughs> it was a good experience. This nice little threesome we got going on here. Yeah. Will you hear so more black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. <laughs> Poor Bamian, he's like, I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> I didn't ask for this. <laughs> I liked it. Good. What does that mean? It's a man. Oh, I don't know. Maybe wow, the ego. I don't know. Ego is like a bird.